How much does it cost to license a product? Stick around because we're going to run some numbers and break it down. Hi everyone, I'm Alex Reed, the founder of Invent Insight, an online platform with affordable and free courses, resources, and guidance for anyone that's interested in finding out the best way to bring their product to market. Now, product licensing takes very little resources and money to get one's product submitted to companies for a potential licensing agreement. And this always amazes people because venturing is more of a mainstream and we're familiar that yes, it takes a lot when you're venturing to get a product to market. So it tends to kind of skew the scale a little bit. But product licensing, it's not new. It's, it's been around for a long time. But changes in the retail industry and the market over the years has kind of dictated the necessity for companies to open up to outside resources for new and improved products. And with the little amount of resources and money it takes to license a product, it's become a very popular way to get one's product to market. So let's go run some numbers and break it down. How much money and time does it take to license a product? Now, I've added time because time is money. And I think it's important that if you are interested in licensing a product, to get a sense of the time involved as well as the cost. So, okay, here's my disclaimer. These are ballpark figures because there's so many variables involved in the licensing business model. And we're going to review some of those variables as we move through this video. Now, I've worked these numbers based on years of experience helping product developers in many different categories and stages in the licensing process, as well as putting my own products through this process. I thought the best way to do this is we're going to look at all the steps and tasks involved in the licensing business model. And then we're going to look at the cost and the time for each of those steps. So real quickly here, these are the steps we're going to be looking at product search and patent search, creating a list of potential licensees and market research, prototype, sales aids, which are your sales sheet and or video, filing a provisional patent application, submitting your product to your list of companies and following up, handling interest and negotiations, and the best part, contract signing. So one of the first things is product research. You know, is your product already in the market? You want to make sure you can move forward with your product. Cost is zero. Time can be anywhere from two to five hours. And then patent search. You want to make sure that your product is not already patented. And cost is basically zero if you do it yourself. Time can be anywhere from four to twelve depending on how many products are in that category that are patented. And cost, if you wanted to hire someone else to do it, outsource it, would be anywhere from 150 to 400. We always recommend that you do the patent search first to see if you can find anything, because you might find it right away. And when it comes to variables, um, an example would be my first product literally took me one hour to do the patent search because there wasn't even a category for it, which is another long story. But uh, then I had a, a really competitive product in the closet space, and that turned into a journey of more than 14 hours. So out of all my products, that was the shortest and the longest. Creating the list of companies and market research. Now this will generally take around six to 10 hours. This is a task that you will most likely continue to chip and charge on throughout because you'll be finding out information. And we teach techniques for combining the research 
of finding companies and market research for your product because all the information is right there. You've got the brands, the price, the packaging materials, sales copy, everything you need to grab um, that's going to help you in the process. And here's where you're going to spend a little money because I like to, to refer to the prototype phase as the product representation because you're going to need a way to depict your product and whether it's a prototype or a rendering. So a prototype, you can have a works and looks like prototype that you can make yourself. And that will generally run you anywhere from 50 to 300 and up, depending how good you are at it and how good you are at shopping for materials for it. And the time, anywhere from three to eight hours. If you want to have a uh, manufacturer do it or uh, have a fabrication made of it, it could be anywhere from 300 to 15 and up. And then renderings are great because they're very inexpensive and re very realistic. And they can be anywhere from $20 to $75. And we really don't recommend getting a manufactured um, or fabricated one until you find out what kind of interest you have on that product. And then once you have that depiction of your product, you're going to be looking at creating your sales aids, which is going to depict the product and the product's benefits. So you need a way to show that concept. And a sales sheet is a one-page document and it can run anywhere from 50 to 150. Time would be anywhere from two to six hours. And a sales video it's generally about one to two minutes long. Could be anywhere from 75 to 150. Take you three to six, maybe a little longer. But what's important is that for both the sales aids, whether it's a sales sheet and or a video, you're going to be supplying all the sales copy, the script, and most of the images and all of the video footage. So this really cuts down on the cost. Uh, it does take a little bit more time though. And for variables, maybe you just want a sales sheet or maybe you just want a video. Provisional patent application. Okay, so let's look at the filing fees for 2018. A micro entity is $70. And time to write uh, and file is anywhere from three to six. Uh, it could be a little longer the first couple of times that you do it. A small entity is um, 140 And then submitting your product to companies, no cost. Time anywhere from four to eight hours. Following up with your companies that you submitted to, same thing, doesn't cost you anything. Time, usually one to two hours a week. I would say it's more like one hour a week, but and, and that's for a period of about six weeks when you find out when are they going to be submitting and when should they have their decision made. Initial interest and negotiation conversations. So this would be after a company said, yes, we're very interested in your product. We want to talk further with you and possibly license this from you. The timeline for that is a little bit of a wild card because it can go really fast or it can take a long time, anywhere up to a year. So, but, but throughout that process, whether it's quick or it takes a long time, generally calls or every few weeks you guys are talking and checking in. Contract agreement. A licensing lawyer will generally run around 1500 to 3500 maybe even up. But licensing is unique in that your interactions and conversations in the process of handling interest are really a negotiation process between you and the potential licensee. And we mentioned it can take months before they actually put a contract on the table. So by that time, most of the main contract points, the how much, whether it's exclusive, things like that are agreed upon before you get a contract and need to hire a licensing lawyer. So often the licensing lawyer is just cleaning up that contract and making sure some of the boilerplate points are there. As far as the cost, here's the cool thing. 
you only need to spend that money if you get a contract and of course it's going to be very well worth it. Let's tally up some of those ballpark numbers. It's a bit of a busy slide but I wanted to keep uh, everything in one image so I'm going to bring my pointer in here. I thought it was important to separate the cost based on the stage from product concept to submission and the same thing with the time because the legal fees and the time for the interest call are really only going to come into play if you get interest and a contract with a company but most likely you're going to have more products that you want to submit that you actually get licensing deals for so that's why I broke out this cost now the low was 265 and the high was 670 and then I did an average which came to 382 and so that's on the cost then the time we had broken it down in hours but what I also wanted to do was add a time frame so you get a sense of how those hours are broken down over a certain period of time to get the process done so the hours, the low was 31, which breaks down to uh, two and a half hours a week. And then high was 67, which breaks down to uh, five and a half hours a week. The average was 46 hours, which is around four hours a week. And then the time frame, as we mentioned, this is based on the three months, 12 weeks, to go from concept to submissions and follow-up. The first time that you're doing this it's going to it's going to take longer but as you submit products and get used to the process the time and the time frame really shorten and then also the course the cost goes down as well. So think of it this way if you have products that you're interested in submitting that's kind of where it's going to run you when it comes to time and costs. That's going to wrap it up for our video on how much money and time it takes to license a product. I hope you found today's video helpful. Please comment below. We would love to hear from you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and make sure to click on the bell to hear about any upcoming videos we post here at our Invent Insight YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.